Hello good people and welcome to Finest Skills Hub. Here, we learn, we connect and we grow. One of the pain points for most Microsoft Excel users, especially those who handle payroll, is the calculation of income tax using a graduated tax rate. In an earlier video, we showed you how you could simplify this using some product. In this video, we are going to further simplify it and also share the workbook with a complete payroll so that you can practice and have access to it, especially in Ghana when the tax rates change. So if you are game, join me in Excel. And let's go through this in a few minutes. So here is my typical layout for the tax rates. This is the new tax rates applied as of January 2022 in Ghana. So first 365 is off, next 110 in that order exceeding 20,000 is 30%. So if you have it laid out like this, the key calculation here is the differential rates. That's the marginal rates as you go down. Okay, if you're able to calculate the differences in the rates as you go down and multiply this by the thresholds, the cumulatives, then you should be fine. That's all the calculation we are going to do here. So once this is laid out, the numbers in blue are the parts that are always updated. So here I have my differential rate calculation. So here I take the second one subtract the first one okay this is a relative reference so this is going to give me five percent i'll hold this and then control d to copy this down okay and i'll take up the last one so this gives us the differential rates for each level now let's calculate the tax payable on 10,000 ghana cities so to do that we are going to use the sum product okay so we'll start some product and we are going to test a condition so we we'll use a double minus here the double minus is just to convert the true and falses that we get into ones and zeros so we can multiply so i'll open my bracket and then i'll take my taxable so the first thing i'm testing is if this ta taxable is greater than these thresholds okay the cumulative thresholds then you should proceed with the calculation. So that is my first statement. So I'll bring my comma and then I'll proceed with another statement where I'm now saying that it should take the taxable and then subtract at each level from the cumulatives. So again, I'm going to take this and then select the same range. Okay. And then I'll close this. The final thing I will do is to multiply it by the differential rate. So I'll take this and multiply it by the differential rate. So basically, this is all the calculation you need. So once you have this and you press enter, this should give you the tax payable on 2142.25. Now, what we want to do is to take this and then apply it to this sample payroll that we have here. So we are going to make some changes it would help if this range that we reference the cumulative range if you can name it okay so that it becomes fixed and we can use it across the workbook so we are going to name this part we are also going to name this part and then we copy the formula and we take it to the payroll so we just select the range so in excel you can name a cell or a range so i've selected this and i go to the name box here and i'm going to name this cumulative and then I select this range as well and I name this differential rate okay so if I'm recreating this formula now when I select this range okay I get the cumulative and then when I select this range I get the differential rate okay then I'll do same for the second instance for the cumulative rate. Okay, so my formula is looking like this. If I enter, I get the same result. So let's copy this. Okay, so when we copy it, what is going to change is the B11, which is currently referencing this. So I've copied this. Now I come to my main sample payroll. Okay, and these are the calculated taxable salary. Okay, so equal to and then i'll paste the original formula here 
So in this case, all I need to do is change the B11 to K9, which is my first reference. Okay, so K9 over here, which references this. And then I will do same for this one as well. K9, so that's it. So now I hit enter and then the calculation goes through for all the employees here. The good thing about this structure is that when the tax rates change, you just need to come and change this blue part and it gets updated. You don't have to recalculate. Now, we have this formula. You can end here if you don't have Microsoft 365, but if you have Microsoft 365, it's even easier. So now that this calculation has been done, I'm going to take the whole of this. Okay. And then we are going to house it in a custom function, PAY, to make it easier for us. So I'll take the whole of the formula and then define K9 as a parameter. That's a variable that will change anytime we are using this. So I'll name this taxable. So I'll name this taxable and I'll copy this. So once I copy, I'm now going to use it in Lambda. So Lambda requires us to first set our parameter, which I named taxable, and we follow it up with a function or the formula. So this is the formula we expect to be executed anytime we run this Lambda function. So I'll close this. Now, what we are going to do is now copy the whole of this Okay, so I'll copy this and then go to define name and then we are going to name this PAYE. And it applies to the workbook. So I'll come here, clean whatever is here and then I'll paste my formula and I'll click OK. So here, when we come and let's say we put in any figure here and I do equal to PAYE. Okay, it becomes a function that can calculate on any variable that I set. Okay, so let's apply it here. So I'll come to my calculation here and select equal to PAYE. And then I'll select my taxable salary. Okay. So if you are using Microsoft 365, you can just take the whole sum product formula and then house it in the custom function called PAYE. If you are not, you can still stick to the sum product version. The goal here is that if you keep this structure, you don't have to recalculate when the tax rates change. You can always come to this blue area and then update it. So we'll share this workbook with you so that you can practice. Thanks for watching. For more of these short videos, you can send ad to this WhatsApp number. We'll add you to our broadcast list so you receive our videos directly on your phones. All our old videos are on our YouTube channel, Finest Skills Up. Please visit, subscribe for notification of new videos. Or connect with us on any of these social media handles. Thank you so much for watching.